Hello and welcome to this English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at vocabulary related to friendships and relationships. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at vocabulary related to friendships and relationships, okay? Now, we all have friends, we all have relationships with people. So all of this vocabulary here is related to these two things, and it's to help you build your vocabulary, to help you speak English more fluently. Now, we'll start off here with the first one, which is best friend. Now, your best friend, obviously, is the person that you are most friends with, okay? So we can say best friend, or as we do in Australia, we say best mate. He is my best mate, okay? Jack is my best friend or my best mate, okay? It's the person that I have a very close relationship with. He is my best friend. We could also say that Jack is an old friend of mine because we have known each other for a long time. So he's an old friend. If we went to school together, we could classify him as a school friend as well. He could be my best friend, he could be an old friend, but he could also be a school friend or a friend from school, okay? Now, even though I don't go to school anymore, we can still consider this person to be a school friend, somebody that you met at school, okay? So the idea with school friends is that they're people that you went to school with or people that you are going to school with. They are your school friends. Now, we can have workmates, okay? Workmates are the people that you work with. They don't necessarily need to be friends, but they're just people in the same company or organization as you, and they are known as your workmates. We have this word here, flatmate or housemate. This is the person that you live with or the person that you share accommodation with. So you could say that Peter is my flatmate or Peter is my housemate. Again, doesn't necessarily need to be a close friend of yours, but it's somebody that you have a relationship with because you're sharing accommodation or you're sharing a house together. So your flatmate or your housemate. Now, you can have mutual friends. So let's say, for example, Jack has some friends and I have some friends. Those friends, and they know each other, those friends are mutual friends, all right? So a friend of Jack and a friend of mine, he's a mutual friend. He's a friend of uh, the both of us, okay? So he's a mutual friend. Friend of a friend, okay? So if Jack had a friend, I would, and his name was Sam, he would be a friend of a friend. So Sam is a friend of a friend of mine. Okay, he can be a friend of a friend of a friend of mine as well if you want to go back or distance the relationship. So Sam is a friend of a friend of mine or a friend of a friend of a friend of mine, we can also say as well. Um, all of these people, all of these friends belong to my circle of friends, okay? My group of friends, my circle of friends. So these two words here. Circle of friend can your circle of friends can be big or it can be a reduced circle or a reduced group of friends. Now this word here is interesting, peers. Okay, your peers. Peers are normally people the same age as you, uh, or people that you work with that are on the same level as you inside the organization. So peers, okay, peers, okay, people that you are more or less the same age uh, as, or you have the same um, level in a the company. They could be classified as your peers. Now, with friendships and relationships, we get to know people. We get to know people, okay? We become friends with people. We can get on well with people, or we can get on badly with people. So we can get on well with them, and we can get on badly if the relationship is not so good. Uh, we can have a lot in common. One of the reasons why Jack is a friend of mine is because we have a lot in common. We like to do similar hobbies, okay? So we have a lot in common. 
I try to keep in touch with Jack fairly often because if you don't keep in touch with friends or, re or relations, relationships, sometimes they, they break or uh, the relationship doesn't continue if you don't keep in touch. And with Jack, um, we often hang around together, okay? We often hang around or we hang out with each other. That means that we see each other frequently, we go and have a drink, we go to a football game, so we hang around with each other or we hang out with each other and we hang out with uh, friends of his sometimes or we hang out with friends of mine, okay? So we hang out together. Relationships and friendships, sometimes you grow apart, you, you, you distance yourselves, okay? You grow apart. You can also fall out, you have a falling out. That is if maybe you have an argument, for example, or for some reason the friendship or the relationship breaks, you fall out. You can also lose contact with friends as well, okay? You lose contact with them because you don't see them for a long time or perhaps their number changes, their phone number changes, and you lose contact with them. And sometimes relationships break up, okay? They break up. Your couple, your partner, you break up, so you separate the relationship. Basically, good friendships and good relationships, you like to be on good speaking terms, okay? To be on good speaking terms. That means that your relationship is healthy, you don't have any animosity, you're still friends, so you're on good speaking terms. You can be on bad speaking terms, or you can say, we're not on speaking terms at the moment. So, how's Jack? We're not on speaking terms at the moment because we had a falling out, all right? So we're not speaking anymore. So we have stopped speaking, okay? If the relationship breaks down or the friendship breaks down and you stop speaking to each other, it means exactly that, that you no longer continue the friendship or the relationship. Now, thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you have a comment or a question, please leave it below. I'm always happy to receive comments, whether they're good, whether they're bad, I don't care. Leave a comment below if you, if you, if you want to. Also, please share the video on social media, your Facebook, your Google+, and your Twitter, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.